is through creativity and innovation now listen carefully i'll just give us four and then we're done for tonight or maybe we'll just stop here exodus 35 please give us 31 to 33 exodus 35 many believers do not know that creativity is spiritual this is talking about a man we call in the bible a popular scripture a man called bezalel are we together the tabernacle was about to be constructed and god had to move upon a man called bezalel to supply upon him the spirit of creativity so that he will invent he will innovate our world today especially the church we are bankrupt of creativity that's why we are not creativity is the system where you birth your seed to rule google apple amazon are we together all these people have demonstrated dominion through creativity you will never never be great in life if you rule alone your ideas must rule with you your seeds must rule with you you are too small to command dominion alone you must spread your seeds today zuckerberg is manifesting the dominion mandate because creativity afforded him to raise his seed in terms of a product facebook and it's all over and had filled him we're reading to 33 with the spirit of god in wisdom and understanding and in knowledge and all manner of workmanship or craftsmanship this is how to de to dominate in your social environment the prayer that i've told you largely takes care of the spiritual climate decrees are spiritual now we are coming to this realm to manifest them you pray in the secret but there must be a physical equivalent to be able to match your dominion christians hear me this is where we miss it you pray and command the spirit of prosperity you pray and declare that i'm going to be a man of influence my family will never be small but then no creativity 32 and to devise curious works to work in gold and in silver and in brass last verse and in the cutting of stones to set them and in carvings of wood and to make any manner of cunning work everybody say creativity listen bishop td jakes is an example of a man who has capitalized on the power of innovation and creativity to enforce dominion show me the products that are ruling the world that came from you what has come out from you by the grace of god today koinonia messages are seeds that have come out of this ministry seeds god's design is for kings to rule with their seeds to first your physical offspring but much more than that that which he has put within you must find expression when i look around and i see several ministries that are connected to us and i see what god is doing through them i am overjoyed because that's my seed when i look around when your book is going far that's your seed when your ideas are being executed and is blessing people is causing them to honor god and multiplying your influence that's your seed that's why i hate laziness laziness is anti dominion mandate everybody say creativity when you talk about business invention coming up with products and influence the church is at the back we pray just like i said we fast just like i said but the spirit of invention is com almost completely out of the church we are behind in everything that is sociological we must change creativity the cloth you are wearing today is dominion through somebody's seeds versace gucci right angela galasso all of the designers in the world they are ruling through their seeds are we together bishop david oyedeko is helping to bring dominion to his seeds somebody says i read his book and i've been changed parents are your children are your seeds rising to take over he said his seed shall be mighty upon the earth psalms 112 his seed shall be mighty 
his seed not have a mighty name a big name is not a big life if your name is bigger than you that's a serious problem because it's possible a great name is not a great life your name can be greater than you when the queen of sheba heard about solomon she assumed he only had a great name so she came to test him and her conclusion was half of this was not told me it's, it is important that you outgrow your name so that whatever it is people hear about you is only a tip of the iceberg the day they meet you they say my god creativity how many ideas are supposed to rise today who is eating because of your creativity who is going to school today because of your creativity where are the clothes where are the books where are the schools where are the businesses where are the conglomerates where are the value adding structures we almost don't have it in church we sit around and we brag and we're happy that's why i encourage one of my goals is to pastor men of influence i've said it like a national anthem i will not pastor weak people i'm not part of those people that tell lies and say it doesn't matter no that's why i'm a friend to politicians that's why i'm a friend to kings you don't have to be corrupted by them but you can stand i believe in influence are we together is your seed ruling show me the company you set up show me the books you wrote who is passing why because of something you have taught who is making reference to something that has come out of you are we getting blessed yes when you become a reference in an area your seed is ruling this is part of the dominion mandate it says be fruitful then you multiply how do you multiply they ask ali kodangote how many hours do you have in a day and he says multiply multiply i think eight hours by the number of workers i have that's how many hours i have in a day wise man no wonder he's a billionaire he has multiplied his time by creating seeds that are taken after him let me tell you something it is a cause to be the only one who can do what you do throughout your lifetime now god is a god of transference at a point in your life your, you should be able to end the right to now begin to pour yourself in someone else a mother who has five children none of them can cook that's a bad testimony for a mother a father who has children up to 20 has never taught them on finances has never taught them on marriage has never mentored them on being a man just leaves them to chance that's why many young people are not successful you know why there is no transference no transference in jewish days fathers worked with their sons when they became teenagers they said hey settle down let me teach you how to be a man you don't guess it i teach you manhood is responsibility this oh yeah i allocate a farm for you go and work but right now as a student if you are doing any other thing they say don't do any other thing no settle down school but you can go abroad and be schooling and scrubbing toilets and they say you're a very nice person you see how we make people lazy you see an able-bodied young man a christian tongue talker comes to stand in front of your house and say i've not eaten there are grasses everywhere grasses everywhere why don't you sit and say let me see how i can buy a machine and then start weeding people's grasses for money and then employ one or two of these people and while they are working for me i'm having lectures your seed is ruling listen i want you to be seed conscious most of us all we know about seed is money your seed is everything that comes from you capable of reproducing your influence is your seed it doesn't have to be human technology has made it possible for us to spread our seeds so you write a book you sit down and you say look the rate of failure from secondary school to university is a serious problem i think there is something that the people within ss2 to maybe 100 level do not understand you come up with a book you release it that's your seed that's dominion are we together when you open a restaurant and i come and i'm eating when I'm eating your food, that's dominion. Because it came from you. A product of your creativity. Listen. 
write it down i will never be lazy again in my life this this cultural massage that is given to adults that makes adults feel like children an able-bodied young man gets up 10 o'clock 12 o'clock he's snoring around the bed say don't worry just leave him he's a last born very soon that brother will look at a lady somewhere and have the guts to go and tell his parents he wants to marry see this is i don't have a problem this is why sometimes you see and i'm being honest i know their parents here this is why sometimes when young guys or young ladies go and meet parents and say i want to marry and the parents say oh god go and sit down first they get angry and say you are stopping my destiny but let's be sincere are you going to eat your fingers Are you going to eat your fingers responsibility your seed apostle i don't have a job what did you read um i read physics education and you don't have a job why don't you open an extramoral center only five courses maths physics english uh, what was the fourth one chemistry and biology for them whatever it is you add five of them that's the only thing i'm doing and you mentor those people you charge one person ten thousand you you trust god and pray and have 50 to 100 students will you beg for bread again we want something for nothing this laziness in africa is a cause parents please i challenge you any of your child that is matured enough tell him from today listen you are not just going to be getting free money after every month mommy i need money the next time i see grass in this house there's no salary for you it looks harsh but you have to train them even if your children are prosperous they must be disciplined many lazy people will not like what i've said but that's why we keep marrying and giving birth to lazy people there is a dimension of dominion that comes through creativity don't ever say there is nothing i have to do you can cook who is eating your food you can make donut start in your room don't wait until you bring one hilarious budget of 900,000. Who do you think will give you the money? Start in your room. There are people roasting corn and God is watching them with honor and dignity. Very soon, they will rise up and make a kind of popcorn that nobody has seen. Dominion. They start exporting it. We're about rounding up, but lay your hands on your head and pray one minute. Lord, everything you have buried within me that I am to dominate with that seed, I prophesy it must come out. I command the books to come out. I command the programs to come out. Are you praying, please? Don't let the devil say you will not succeed. Do it and fail, but prophesy. Let the catering school come out in the name of Jesus. Let the exercise books come out in the name of jesus let the award-winning tailoring um, um outfit come out let the extra moral center come out let the business come out let the bank come out let the investment house come out hallelujah please sit down i want you to know after today i want you to go and sit down please especially if you are poor and broke and you are not doing anything don't just pray and say god when will you wipe my tears that's a foolish prayer go and sit down find a good friend and sit down and say no we have to do something we are, do it and fail failure does not kill do it how much do you have 100,000 300,000 let's have an agreement and sit down at least you have 500 I have 500 you can buy one golf we can buy a golf and start put it on the road it's bringing 10 to 20,000 every week we are starting all this laziness around that people just do and say I'm a king you are not a king dominion through creativity in fact there is a message like that you can get it after this after the service some of you plot and your plating is unusually exceptional why don't you package it why don't you package it some of you sing worship team some of you are looking at me god is telling you it's time there are some of you there is a day worship team will produce the album but start writing songs write songs 
How many songs have you written? Two. When will you write the rest? God is helping me. You are not serious. You are absolutely not serious. Are you not seeing in the body of Christ now? People are tapping into their innate creativity. I'm not only a man of God. I'm many other things. I'm a businessman. I'm a leader over people. I'm a mentor to people. Everything God put in me will find expression. There are books that will be written. There are many other things that will be done. Dominion. Dominion. Covenant University. Landmark University. Dominion Publishing House. One time I was watching Dr. Miles Munro's videos and he carried six books and he hid them. And he said, if there was no Dr. Miles Munro, there will be no rediscovery of the kingdom. There will be no spirit of leadership. Think how many corporations prosper today. The world is waiting for yours. Stop waiting on God. Be serious. Some of you started writing one book. God inspired it. You wrote one page and you just left it. Be serious. Why don't you get a recorder? Ah, I'm a public speaker. Start speaking. Don't wait until there are people. Speak on a recorder and listen to yourself and correct yourself. God will not bring you on stage when you have not been well trained. Are we together? There is a dimension of dominion that will come through creativity. There is a dimension of dominion. The Aliko Dangotes and the, the, the Oprah Winfrey's and the Bill Gates and even in the body of Christ, great men like the Papa Deboyes, the Wisdom Center. Think how many things have come out of people. You were never, the word education comes from a Latin word to draw from within. To draw from within not just to complete a number of courses are we together now our educational system we salute it but is limited in many ways and one of it is in supplying stimulating creativity you must reinvent yourself there is no such thing as being educated you are learning or you are out don't say I'm educated you are either learning in an ongoing way or you are out make up your mind today that I will not be the one begging, inconveniencing people, running to people's houses. Sorry, I don't know if God is speaking to you that you should help me. Are you, you have been looking at me. You, you, you have to stop being a nuisance. There is a dimension of dominion. Our parents rejected it. Our siblings have rejected it. Make sure you do not reject it. That from tonight you will challenge yourself. What is that that you have in your hands? Train yourself. By God's grace, there are on common mentors in every area in this house whether it is in business whether it is in finance whether it is in leadership koinonia is a heterogeneous collection of professionals in very many areas you have not identified them because you are not passionate pursuit is proof of passion you must find out and search who can help me i, I have a passion for leadership who can help me not to sit and say when will they organize something to help us now it will never happen we like free things. We are careless and callous. And you know, we have to challenge ourselves. It is a secret of poverty. Secret of poverty to sit down and hope one day it will happen. I know, Abba, is it not the God of Koinonia? I know one day he will visit me. You can dance all your life and remain the way you are. Fall down under the anointing, roll up and down and get up. You have commanded dominion. Realities are ready to be released in the spirit. But there is no creativity, no innovation. Next week is miracle service, is it? Oh dear. I would have added one more part. It's too late there are two more things i have to talk about there is a dimension of dominion that comes through wisdom and understanding let me just state them quickly maybe another time we'll do a recap i really apologize wisdom and understanding that's the next point part of the ministry of the dominion mandate we dominate by manifesting wisdom and understanding wisdom and understanding wisdom and understanding is a long scripture but proverbs chapter 8 we, we don't have time but i want you to read all of it he was talking about wisdom he said by me kings reign and princes decree justice wisdom personified and understanding speaking he says let's look at a few verses at least 
Proverbs chapter 8. We're out of time, but please just um, bear with me for a few minutes and then we're done. Let's read verse 1. Media, please take note. Verse 1, and then we're reading verse 15 and 16 and 17 and 18. Then we're reading verse 22 to 23. Then we're reading verse 35 and 36. I'll help you in case you've forgotten. Let's start. Verse 1, then we're going to verse 15, 16, 17. Doth not wisdom cry, and understanding put forth her voice. So these are spirits, these are personalities, these are not just attributes that men have. Are we together? 15 now to 17. Then we're going 22 to 24. Verse 15 says, okay, by me kings reign, and princes decree what? Justice. 16. By me princes rule. So how do you rule? Wisdom, understanding. And nobles, even the judges of all the earth. There's nobody walking in dominion who is bankrupt of wisdom and understanding. 17. I love them that love me. And those who seek me, what? You can seek wisdom later and not find it. Because it takes time. 22 to 24. The Lord possessed me. Yay! 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 Are you a Christian? The Lord possessed me, what? In the beginning of his way. Before the works of old. 23. I was set up from everlasting from the beginning or ever the earth was that means before this earth concept came i was the mystery behind the dexterity of the earth 24. when there were no depths i was brought forth when there were no fountains abounding in the water i wish that we had more time we would have read everything that was there it was it was i mean it, it was all of but but our time is gone let's read verse um let's read verse 34 35 36 last three verses now 34 35 36 blessed is the man that heareth me wisdom and understanding watching daily at my gates waiting at the post of my doors 35 for those who findeth me findeth life and shall obtain favor of the lord last verse but he that sinneth against me, help me, wrongeth his own soul. All they that hate me, love death. They have chosen to be defeated in life. Anyone who hates wisdom, anyone who hates understanding, is the same thing as you have signed and say you can shoot me anywhere you see me. All they who hate me, love death. Wisdom and understanding. There is a dimension of the dominion mandate that requires wisdom insight into the systems of god and having the fortitude the faculty the comprehension the working knowledge of the principles and the mysteries of the kingdom knowing what to engage that is responsible for certain outcomes church growth or praise to wisdom and understanding there are keys you don't know it you will not experience it financial prosperity and increase is not luck there is a there is an exact technology to it influence has a system which of them do you know and which of them do you not know and then the last thing i'll talk about is legislature on the strength of the anointing and then we'll stop here yeah, we're going to pray there's no time there is a level of the dominion mandate that requires raw power power direct on sin direct on sin psalm 66 verse 3 say unto god how terrible art thou in thy ways through the greatness of thy power shall thy enemies do what submit themselves to you submit themselves to you submit themselves to you through the greatness of thy power shall thy enemies submit themselves 
there are supernatural dimensions that must be produced directly by the anointing the healing of sick bodies changing impossible things bringing the power of god to bear the bible is full of dominion that happened by the raw power of god the finger of god the bible says that he has broken the gates of brass and cut the bars of iron in sunder it takes power it takes power to reign in this wicked world the bible says the whole world lies in wickedness much more than prayer it takes power i was teaching the school of ministry students and um i was teaching them that one of the greatest advantages of a believer is your access to the anointing the anointing is a game changer it vetoes any and everything other factors are very important but show me a man who is lavishly anointed and i show you a man who can do good i show you a man who can walk practically in dominion acts chapter 10 and verse 38 how god look at the extent to which god anointed jesus of nazareth with the holy ghost and with power and the bible says he went about doing good you don't do good just by a sincere heart it takes power to do good it takes power to get demons out of people oppressing them it takes power to prophesy over people and say in the name of jesus christ i change your story and their lives change he says for i am a man under authority i say unto one go and he goeth i say unto another come and he comes jesus was speaking and he said verily verily i say unto you the works that i do ye shall also do and he says greater works greater works greater works greater works one of the ways we must exercise dominion over the earth is to be a manifestation of the supernatural the raw power of god on the scene blind eyes opening deaf ears being unstopped the crippled being healed you enter your house and you stay the power of witchcraft your presence that anointing that is within you what happens to others you are seeing that other people a calamity is destroying them and you come out of it in a supernatural way you compel men to find out when they threw shadrach meshach and abednego in the fire expecting it to burn them the power of god was brought to the scene they saw a fourth man looking like the son of god and all of a sudden the king saw and acknowledged they threw daniel in the den of the lion listen when you enter the same trouble others enter and you come out that's dominion that's dominion that's dominion there's recession eating and killing and destroying people in nigeria and all of a sudden you arise with such strength and dexterity every time you do something uncommon the world will stand at an attention to see it the world does not honor common things brothers and sisters this mandate was given to us by god it is the way we cause him to come to the scene is the way we represent him though we are few we're surrounded by many who have crossed that river before this is the song i'll be singing forever the Lord holy the Lord listen everybody say dominion through power say it again dominion through power many of you have received strong impartations in koinonia but you are afraid of exercising dominion through them either because you think you are not a man of god so when someone is sick you try my number it doesn't work you try a jimmy's number any of the heads of department and then you get maybe any of the prayer leaders and then you now call sir can you pray for me one day you need to be angry and let today be that day that you go back home and your roommate says something is wrong i always have someone oppress me and you say no i i have been anointed in koinonia I, I there is a dimension of dominion are we together you lay hands on that person and say in the name of jesus there are times that people come here and tell me their loved ones are sick i say give me your hands i lay my hands on them i say you carry that anointing and go with it our little children here return with testimonies i laid my hands on my father you must kill fear you must kill fear and go back 
someone says there is a problem you tell them look i'm a faithful member of koinonia the anointing there apostle may not have the time but i'm standing i'm representing god and i'm a good ambassador of this ministry let's pray if the person does not believe you that's all right and you pray some of you for the first time while you are holding that person he collapses like a pack of card and you too you are surprised you are starting you are growing your faith is being built you speak to the person he says do you know that i return back and from that day no oppression in my dream again the next time that person is in trouble he runs to you you see that we may not be many doing this but we are surrounded by many many william seymour alexander the way god's generals men and women who are doing it god is counting on us we cannot fail our generation god is counting on us all these facets of dominion when they find expression in you then you see that the kingdom can come dominion through prayers settling spiritual climates commanding the forces in the realm of the spirit to bow are we together dominion through creativity decrees you are sending words you are a speaking spirit commanding and influencing and shaping things and then your creativity your ideas your value giving you space in the marketplace nobody insults you and just says you're a christian and so you're a nobody if we're in church let's behave like church now that we're outside church you're a daft dummy you have nothing no you have something to offer to the world then the manifestation of wisdom and understanding wisdom is justified by her children the strange results in your life that become testaments to the fact that you are a custodian of keys given to you by the wisdom of God and finally dominion by manifesting the raw power of the Holy Ghost rise upon your feet we'll be singing forever Holy is the Lord. Holy is the Lord. Holy is the Lord. Let me prophesy to you before we pray. I just sense in my spirit to speak over our lives. Many of us have lost things. Many of us have not seen the reality of dominion in our lives. But I want to speak to you everything that was lost shall be returned unto you everything that was stolen shall be restored unto you everything that was lost shall be returned unto you everything that was stolen prophesy to yourself hey everything that was lost shall be returned unto you everything that was stolen shall be restored unto you hey everything that was lost shall be returned unto you everything that was stolen shall be restored unto me turn it into a prayer my scepter restored dominion enforced i declare it I decree lift your voice and pray the scepter the symbol of authority everything everything that was lost everything I pursue I overtake I pursue I overtake Without fail, I recover. I pursue. I overtake. Without fail, I recover. 